to do Christopher Walken at a book fair reading Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon. <laughs> Good Night Cow jumping over the moon. Good Night Noises everywhere. Children, scooch closer. Don't make me tell you again about the scooching. <laughs> and then Maggie, the little baby, like scooches, yeah. scooches out and then scooches back in. Yeah. But my favorite Simpsons line of all time is in that episode at the book fair. Maya Angelou starts reading a book. And Mo, the bartender, looks at Homer and goes, My Angelou's black? Uh, <laughs> it's like one of the all time lines ever. I love that show. How did, are you friends with those guys? How did you they, connect no, with them? No, they just called me out of my agent out of the blue. And Someone knew it. you did the dead on Christopher Walken. Yeah, they knew I've it. done it. Uh, I did that. I've done a couple. Th- I did George Clooney on Bojack Horseman. Yeah. But it was that like, his name was like yours, Uni. It was like a close name, but yeah. they couldn't say like George Clooney. But I never did a George Clooney impression. Just walk and dig your impression? No. No. He thinks I'm making fun of him. Oh. I was on set. He had this speech in Suicide Kings where he goes, It's lucky for you. I know who I know and I do what I do. Otherwise, your princess would be chopped mince meat by now. And I just love, I know what I know when I do what I do. The the rhythm of that I really love. So all day on set, I'm, it's lucky for you. I know what I know. I do what I do. And one day he goes, whoa, I'm trying to do my lines and you're teasing me. Oh. And I was like, oh, no. We got three weeks to film still. We're in this one little room, the whole movie. Yeah. I was like, I am not mocking you, sir. I just just lay my sword down at his feet. I called him sir. What do you do when, I mean... What do you do? What do you do when you do it so well and then you meet them and then they don't like it? Well, you almost have to apologize to them. Well, I did. But I mean, I get it. Like if somebody did an impression of you, Dave, you've never heard anybody do an impression. Like he's never, nobody's ever done a Christopher Walken impression, Christopher Walken. Like I didn't do Al Pacino to Al Pacino because I didn't have the impression until I saw the movie Insomnia. And uh, so the Pacino story, I was doing this movie with Al Pacino that no one saw. (laughs) called Simone. I believe they had the premiere on an airplane so people didn't walk out. <laughs> and uh, the movie, we had a, a director from New Zealand and he had us, we had a 3.30 a.m. call time because he wanted us on a rock jetty in San Pedro and he wanted to film us out on the rock jetty in San Pedro, magic hour, as the sun's coming up. And no one told this Kiwi prick that the marine layer, the sun doesn't rise to like eight, you know, 6.30 in the morning and with the marine layer, it's not going to be sunny until 2. Mm. So we just wasted a whole day of production with us standing around in clouds and fog. So me and Al Pacino are out on this rock jetty. In the movie, I play an actor who steals Pacino's information from his computer in his office to lie myself into a part. And Pacino plays a director. And he's really just airing my character out. And he's like, why did you steal from me? <laughs> Didn't you think you can get that part of your own merit? Hoorah! The hoorah isn't included, but you just have, it's mandatory for a Pacino impression. So as we're filming in this rock jetty, Pacino's screaming at me, and it's one of those seminal moments where you realize in real time, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to me. Like, he's spitting all over my face like, you are a freaking child! Hoorah! Oh! Why am I orange? And then it's my turn to talk, and what happened was, we're out on this rock jetty, and about... I don't know, 12 feet behind me, there's a pylon in the water, and there's a giant seagull chainsaw standing on this pylon, and whenever I go to talk, the seagull is not a fan. I go to say my lines, which is something like, well, first of all, and the seagull just goes, (laughs) (laughs) you know when a seagull really gets after it? It is loud, man. (laughs) Like an eagle ain't got nothing on a seagull. Eagle just goes, or a hawk. <laughs> Seagull makes a racket. That's Motley Crue of birds. He's <laughs> tackling you, man. I need to write that down. The Motley Crue no. of birds. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. Do You'll hear the, that uh, tonight uh, at the maybe, La Jolla Comedy Store. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? I like that. A line was just born on the show. <laughs> so then Pacino does his lines again like, next time you break into my office, you're going to eat my right hand, you're going to eat my service revolver, you're going to blah, blah, and I go to talk and... Ah! <laughs> so literally nothing I say is on mic at all. So being from New Jersey, my way of dealing with this is I pick up a rock to throw it at the seagull to kill oh, it. So I, right. I want to work. And I pick up a rock, I turn. I played center field in high school, El Cañon. Like I can I can gun it. He's got a got a cannon. Like Raul Mondesi from the track. Remember that arm? Oh yes. So I'm I'm on the Warren track and I just bring my arm back to throw it at this bird and I just feel something around my neck. And the next thing you know, I'm laying on my back on the rock jetty. 
looking up at Al Pacino. He choked me out. <laughs> Al Pacino, what? rear naked, like what? in a nano. Like, I'm a fighter. I coach fighting. What? And Al Pacino just comes in behind me and just, yeah, like, no time to tap. I'm just, my back's wet. I'm on. I'm on a, a jetty. And he's tiny. He's like, f yes, he's super tiny. He's, <laughs> he's tiny. He's downright, as Russell Brown would say, he's Lilliputian. <laughs> <laughs> and I am I come to, I'm out for like a split second. I open my eyes and he's standing over me and he goes like this. He goes, don't do that. <laughs> what if that bird has babies? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was his way of saying, don't throw a rock at a bird. What's yeah. the matter with you? Don't do that. What He didn't say that bird. I just added it for the story to make it easier. <laughs> Don't do that. What if he has babies? Don't do that. What if he has babies? <laughs> <laughs> and for the next hour, he is lecturing me between every take. He's like, and cut. Are you the guy? The reason those baby birds don't have a father? Coming home with their meal, their snacks? Because you had to kill their effing father with a rock. What is wrong with you? Bird killing man, J. Moore. Damn. And it wasn't until like, Later in the day, he was completely the choke out was real. He didn't want me to kill a bird. He yeah. didn't know what else to do. He freaked out. But him teasing me, he was all he was kidding the whole time. Oh, no kidding. And I thought he was right, serious. Right I thought he hated me. And then like Good later actor. that night we were filming like downtown LA. It was a fake Oscars thing we were doing. And he goes, uh, you guys want to ride back to base camp? Like they ask you. And he goes, No, JJ and I are gonna walk and enjoy the evening. And I'm like, shoot, man. Here it goes again. And we it's walk. not personal, Sonny. It's not. That's it's not the way I wanted it, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All my life, send Fredo to run some Mickey Mouse nightclub. Thanks, not dumb. Like dumb, I'm smart and I want respect. Your listeners right now are sitting in their cars, going, "I must have missed a couple sentences." <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you haven't. Don't Can try to track you? it. Just enjoy the ride. You're Pacino. Oh, to me, so good. To me, the the golden moment of your Pacino is a. Ah! Huh? Huh? I didn't even know I said it. There's no words. It's just, huh? What are you going to do when that bird doesn't come up? Huh? Bird. Bird. How many R's are in bird? Bird. 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 I, love, I love this. You're helping me with the impression. I'm not kidding. I got to tell you what I love about oh, God. On my Instagram, I do Coach Al Pacino. Thanks, buddy. Uh, for some reason, I just picked the Portland Trailblazers. Like, what are we doing? How many fouls did TJ have? Three. That's not good. And I was literally home alone in my apartment, and my Pacino was... Perfect. So I just filmed myself doing Al Pacino coaching the Portland Trailblazers <laughs> for no reason.